All right, y'all. So we are here. We're going to check out Living Aloha. He actually has a take on the new update to the terms of service. And this is actually the full context. All I saw was screenshots. And from the screenshots alone, they look wild. <laughs> but I mean, and I'm not. Listen, my overall opinion on VV right now is they spend way too much time covering their ass. It's like. That's like all they're doing. That's all they're doing. Kissing up to licensors and covering their own asses. That That's really what they're doing. And I don't think that the consumer is in mind. I don't think that it's about us at all. It's not about us. It's not about even true collectors. It's not about that. It's about what's best for the licensors. They need to keep selling product. And if these products go down in value, if they if the company just ceased to exist, you can't blame us because we warned you ahead of time. That's, that's the vibes that I get from this company at this point in time. It's not the same vibe as we want to give our users the best experience. We want the users to enjoy what's going on here. We're like, what have they dropped for the users? Where's the enjoyment for the users? You can still take the same pictures in AR like, like that you could do that basically first got us all into the project years ago. It's like, where is the user experience? Oh, you can buy stuff and, and earn points now? That's the biggest change that's happened over the last three years. You can buy stuff and earn points now. So we can give you money and you give us imaginary points back in return. Great. That's the biggest thing you've been able to come up with for the users in all these years. So listen, I'm not impressed by the small things anymore. Um, I need more. I require more as an investor. I want to see more. More should be delivered because they're not delivering for us. They're delivering for themselves and for their licensors. They need to do right by the people who got them in the position that they're in. And that, that's what I'm not seeing from them. And that is why um, I'm on the, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a positive view of VV right now. I don't have a necessarily a negative one. Well, I mean, th this is criticisms, but it's, it's just really criticism. I I'm in the middle where I don't have to care one way or another, but let's jump into it, y'all. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let's, let's see the, the terms of service, though. It is full context, so it's slightly better. It's slightly better with this context and with his, you know, his his take on it, but let's hear it. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're going to take a quick look at the VV terms of use. And to me, one of the most important sections, which is section seven on collectibles. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of reading here, um, but I'll also be explaining my thoughts on it. I want to start by saying I think in my personal opinion is that uh, this is something... Uh, long overdue for VV. Uh, I think it's a smart move for them as a company. Uh, see, the, like, see, he's talking. He obviously he's still like, he's a huge, he's a huge supporter. And it's not like like that I'm not a huge supporter. It's just that this is long overdue. The thing is, when he says stuff like that, it's like, what's long overdue is Omi token utilities. What's long overdue is exchanges. What's long overdue is metaverse access. What's long overdue is all the stuff VV has been promising for years. The change to their terms of service, that's the last on my list of things that I personally care about. But I get it. It's for the SEC. It's for their licensors to protect the IP, all this stuff. What about your users? Because it's great that you're protecting the IP, but your users have been screwed over multiple times by shitty exchanges and things like that. Your users are constantly screwed over, but they're an acceptable loss. They're, 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 it's acceptable for the user to be hurt by your mistakes and by your incompetence, but you'll protect the licensor at all costs. I want to see that same licensor protection energy when it comes down to your audience. Get us on some exchanges, if not for the exchange themselves, if not for the sentiment, for the protection of your own users. That That's that's the part that frustrates me about this company. It's clear that you don't care about the users. And these same users sit here and fight for you. And this is like me. I see these. I see the people constantly attacking, constantly fight. And I just feel bad. Like, I, I honestly don't attack back most times these days. I don't attack people or say anything back. Like, people say crazy stuff about me all the time. And I just don't. I feel bad for them. I really feel bad for them. Because you got this type of love and support towards this company who don't give two shits about you. It reminds me of the, the, the real world. Like, the job market. Like, the jobs you could fall like you you could die right there at a job and they'll replace you before the day is out that's how a lot of jobs are so for and it's like vv gives me that same energy man it's just it's not it's not what it was for me it's not what it was and i want to see things be different i want to believe in them again i want to see them do better but yeah i don't know uh 
in terms of how this affects the value of the NFT slash collectibles that many of us have in our collection uh, is unknown, but um, I think this bodes well for the uh, continued longevity of VV. And um, let's go over it. So uh, section one. This does well for the longevity of VV in terms of maybe the regulations point of view. But what about the consumers who keep getting screwed? Does that bode well for VV? I mean, and, and this is not at Aloha. I'm just saying it's like certain things. When I hear certain things, it bothers me and I have to, you know, say something. But yeah, it's not at Aloha. Like I have no problem with anybody who just is looking at this from the good side. I just wish people would speak up more about the bad side. Because for everything positive you can say, you can say 20 things negative. So why is the negative still in existence? I wouldn't let that many negative things slide if I was passionate about something, if I cared about something. Why does Vivi? The only thing I can think of is they don't care about their users. They just care about their pockets and their licensors' pockets. Is please note, please note the following in relation to collectibles. So actually, uh, 1A and 1C are very, uh, very similar, but I'm going to read uh, 1A and 1C in its entirety because I, I really believe it's important. So 1A, the collectibles are intended for personal enjoyment and no promises are made as to the financial value of the collectibles or whether that financial value will change over time. And uh, 1B to me is out of place. It should come after um, what is 1C. So I'll read 1C next. The collectibles are intended and offered solely, this word is very important, solely for entertainment or consumptive purposes and are not intended or suitable for investment speculation or financial gain. So Vivi is saying right out of the bat in black and white that the collectibles are not intended or and are not suitable for investment speculation or financial gain. Why is this important? Because of 1B. The collectibles are not security as is defined in the securities law of the United States. So what they are doing is basically. Uh, you hear how he's like changing the order of things and making it make sense and making it, you know. I hope that this is some strategy for the SEC and for, you know, I hope it's some strategy like that. But he's the one that's making this make sense and putting it in the right context and giving a logical train of thought for this. To me, this just really looks like them warning investors ahead of time that when you get screwed, that's on you. Because we're telling you, it's like, it's not that, like, they're protecting themselves. I don't even think, it doesn't seem like this is, I'm just getting a different interpretation. I think that he is the one, and this is what I mean. I feel like the users are oftentimes what makes the things that VV do more positive than maybe it is even intended to be. But I'm hoping that he's right. Hopefully this is for the SEC and maybe after this, they can actually do some things and make moves to make things better. Now that it's been clear that this is not an investment. Now that they've made that clear, will they actually get to work and get shit done? Hopefully they do. Adopting to or dealing with uh, the Howey test. And it goes on to say the, you know, you have no interest in the entity of the project. Your funds are not pooled. Um, they also talk about cybersecurity that, uh, you know, there's a risk there. And uh, G is, is also important and says domestic or foreign governments may adopt legislation or regulations that may negatively affect, impact the use, transfer and exchange or price of collectibles. Collectibles compete with other digital assets and this competition may negatively impact the price of collectibles. I, the market for NFTs is new. Yeah, like, look at that. Like, collectibles compete with other digital assets <clears throat> and this competition may negative. That doesn't seem like something for the SEC. This seems like a letter to the users. This is a letter to the users. This is not, this is them basically breaking down, Cover. this is covering their own asses. Because they know a lot of lawsuits and stuff is probably going to come. Especially if people keep getting screwed. And it, this is what it seems like to me. Like, I love the, oh, this is protection so Vivi can be here in a long-term narrative. I love that. That's what I want it to be. But 
certain things just make me believe that this is just them covering their asses for when shit hits the fan with the users. And volatile and the price of collectibles as it relates to fiat currency may greatly de decrease over a short period of time, impacting the liquid liquidity and price of a collectible. J is really important, and, and um, actually, it, it should to me, it should have been at the end. We may go out of business, declare bankruptcy, or cease operations, thereby decreasing the use or value of the collectibles. So they are putting their exit in black and white. Changes to economies in the real world may negatively impact, blah, blah, blah. New technologies may replace NFTs, thereby limiting their liquidity liquidity and value to me this is a very smart move by vb and i um, applaud them for it um some may look at it as a rug but uh, many of us have been talking about this for um, for a long time but them vb's move to uh, stay clear of the howey test is so important and to basically state in black and white that the purpose of their drops are for entertainment and cons consumptive purposes. And they're saying that it is not suitable for investment, speculation, or financial gain. So I'm going to go into detail. Because they constantly updating this. Why not, the, why not update the white paper? Why not put that in black and white? Why not make a promise to your community, the people who got you in this position? Why not make that clear in black and white what you're going to do for the people who who made you who you are that that should be clearly defined somewhere too right so yeah well in my next video on uh the upcoming third party marketplace what i think is going to happen to the secondary market and to and to gems but take a look at the new terms of use uh i think this is their best one yet it makes them more mainstream. Uh, it is definitely well, something to be mainstream. Somebody would have to want what you're offering. Who wants the stuff that's on VV besides people who are on VV who invested during the middle of a bull run where everything was going off a bunch? Like the logic a few years ago made sense. A bunch of bullshit was selling monkeys and all type of stuff, and that that was going crazy. This was IP stuff. This was the first of its kind. The first time we've ever saw it. Now, it's like we realize, most people realize, there's not much special about it outside of it being the first. And unlike the first appearances of things in real life, the first appearances on here was the first person to type it into a computer. The first person to type something into a computer. That's not the same history. That's not the same thing that gives collectibles their value. And the fact that people can sell other collectors on the value of VB, that's great. If you all can sell one another on this, then it will make it valuable because all it takes is a group of people campaigning for something. And if you can convince the masses of that, the, at least the mass collectors of that, that's fine. But this is limited. It's limited in what it could potentially do because of. Anyway, I, I've already given this rant multiple times, but there we have it. Let me know what you all think. Let me know how you all feel about these changes to the terms of service. Do you believe that is bullish? Do you believe that it's not? Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.